last part of the fake link did wash down. I, it frustrates me. Oh, you can tell, right? It frustrates me because it does make the game harder for the rest of us who are genuinely trying to add value in the feed. Some people are naturally talented at, at the LinkedIn game. The rest of us have had to work hard and iterate. The point of the matter that I'm raising is just don't be fooled by everything that you see on LinkedIn. Not all of it's true. Not all of it's real. Some of us are real. Go and have a conversation with people. Huh? If you have a conversation with someone, you will understand quite quickly whether they know what they're doing or not. And the other thing to say is not every fake LinkedIn influencer that's on here is bad at their job. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying their tactics wind me up because it's not real. There are some people out there that think these things are real. And I get people come to me all the time. Paul, how can I get 10,000 likes per video? I saw, I saw, here's an example, right? I saw a guy post up. Um, I'm not going to say who. Uh, a guy posted up uh, this week. So we are 5th of January here, right? 5th of January. Oh, for the last two weeks, I've been posting two videos a day instead of one. And look how much my engagement has increased by. Think about what we were doing two weeks ago, people. Oh, yeah. Oh, your engagement's increased from two weeks ago. Well done. Go and have a look at your own feed. If you posted anything this week, it'll have had more traction than what it did two weeks ago. Yeah, these are the sort of things that wind me up. If you want to hear more rants over the coming year, follow me, subscribe, because I'm going to be leaning into lots of different things that irritate me that don't add value on LinkedIn, as well as some of the ways that you can gain real value and traction on LinkedIn yourself.